So to keep with the theme of answering some questions that I get from different clients and from different people uh, who email me and some of the common questions that I get, just to stick with the theme of kind of giving you guys uh, information that's valuable. Um, the question today is, what is the cost to start up an Amazon business? You know, I get, I get that question asked a lot, a lot, a lot of times, lots, lots, because people are at different levels with their income and they want to know if it's possible. Um, people see the, um, the potential in starting an Amazon business. Uh, they see the value. They certainly know that they would uh, die to have the results. Uh, free up their time, replace their current income, be able to retire from their job, um, be able to make more money for their family, be able to produce a huge income, take it to the next level, um, to do great things. Um, Amazon has that potential. Uh, I call Amazon kind of the gold rush of the of, of this century uh, when it comes to stumbling upon something that is incredible and has that incredible potential. Again, so back to that question, how much does it cost to start up an Amazon business? Um, there are different levels of starting up an Amazon business, that's for sure. Um, I've kind of categorized it in three different levels. Uh, level one being low cost startup. Um, level two being a general startup or a comfortable startup uh, or a quality startup. And, and level three being a high level startup. Um, most, the most, the most common reason why people fail in their Amazon business is because they don't know what to do. They get lost in the in the um, the whole system of it. Um, Amazon FBA or fulfillment by Amazon, private label specifically is what I'm talking about. Um, is is essentially a system that you would follow that would. Um, that you would check off that would help you uh, launch your Amazon business. So, um, let's talk about the low, le low level, a low level startup for Amazon. And I'll kind of give you the criteria from there, the minimums to starting just getting involved. Um, that way you at least know what it takes cost wise to start low. And then I'll tell you what factors will will raise the level of the quality of startup that you launch as far as an Amazon business. So um, your initial cost for a low level startup for, for, for any Amazon business, regardless of what level you are, is you need to set yourself up for an Amazon business account. So you need to go to amazon.com or wherever you're from and you need to register an Amazon business account. Uh, in the US and in Canada, an Amazon business account is I believe $30 per month. Um, I would recommend budgeting for two months. Uh, you're gonna need two months for sure before you start seeing a solid paycheck. Your first paycheck probably not going to be super huge um, your second paycheck your first month your product won't arrive to Amazon generally takes the first four weeks to get your product to Amazon people have done it faster um, but I usually say rule of thumb is four weeks okay so after the first month uh, your second month is where you uh, will start to see um, some sort of monetary gain uh, Amazon pays every two weeks uh, they do a direct deposit into your account. Um, so budget for two months, um, 
So at $30 a month, that's $60. Uh, the second cost uh, you're going to need, so now that you've registered an Amazon business, you're gonna need to find some product or a product to launch. Um, you're going to use the software called Jungle Scout. Jungle Scout is the best software in the industry uh, for filtering through criteria that you set in that will show you products on Amazon that either sell extremely well, have huge demand, or low competition, or a specific niche, or a specific price point, or all those things combined, maybe for a specific category, like maybe you wanna be in the pet category, or the sporting goods category, or the electronics category, all that stuff. You can filter it, um, and uh, you can, you can essentially put in your your goal you know if your goal is you know I I'd love to produce a three thousand dollar income make an extra three thousand dollars a month profit well then what you would do is you would cite in criteria of say 300 I want I want to see all the product all the products on Amazon that sell three a minimum of 300 units a month and I want to see all the products on Amazon that have a profit margin of ten dollars uh, a month then you get ten dollars times 300 units three thousand dollars and you can do that with jungle scout so the first jungle scout is a two-part program that you you would need to budget for the first part being the web app the web app is a monthly subscription you generally only need to pay for it when you need it so again let's sign up for the first two months get your first product uh, it's fifty dollars a month there are there are multiple like there's like low medium and I believe there's a high uh, web app options I just say go for the middle one because it gives you enough uh, searches and 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 it gives you enough features and benefits uh, that you won't be missing out on anything uh, so it's fifty dollars a month so let's account for another hundred dollars so our grand total right now is hundred and sixty dollars uh, again, we're, we're looking for what it would cost at the lowest level to get in and get your Amazon private label business launched, okay? Uh, as I said, Jungle Scout is a two-part um, program. The second part that you need to order with Jungle Scout is a one-time purchase, and then you own the feature forever, uh, and it's a Chrome extension. Uh, so it extends onto Chrome, Google Chrome, uh, and it's called the Jungle Scout uh, Chrome extension. And it's a different, it, it, they are necessary, they, they, they're, it's like yin and yang. It's hard to do one without the other. So one helps you find the products, then the Chrome extension helps you um, dig deeper into the products and verify the information. Um, the Chrome extension works specifically uh, with Amazon's website. So you have to launch Amazon's website to actually use the Chrome extension. When you're on there, you have to do some sort of search. Let's say you're searching for something, I don't know, fidget spinners, and uh, you do a search and 15, 20 different fidget spinners come up, all different brands, all different price points. When you click on the Chrome extension button on your computer, uh, it's going to drop down a menu and that menu is going to tell you everything right there the demand It's gonna actually tell you how much each person is selling of their units So if you thought competition was easy It just got a lot easier with the Chrome extension because now you can look and go hey this guy's selling a whack load But this guy this guy and this guy they're not selling anything. Let's see what they got. Oh, okay I understand their fidget spinner sucks but this guy's fidget spinner is amazing and I get why he's selling and his price point is a great price point. And wow, he's got low reviews, which means there's, he doesn't really have much competition um, or he's easy competition um, because people aren't reviewing his product. Low reviews mean, the lower the amount of reviews mean the less competition there is or in other words, the easier it would be for you to get to page one where all the sales are. Uh, in the world of Amazon, most of the shoppers don't go past page three. And I wanna say statistically, over 70% purchase their 
whatever it is they're want they're wanting to buy off of page one. Uh, so if page one represents seventy percent of the demand, that's where you want to get your listing. The Chrome extension for the light version. The cheapest version is $100, so let's add that up. You got $60 for an Amazon account, business account. You have $100 for the web app, and then you have uh, another $100 for the Chrome extension. So now we're at $260. So now we've managed to find our product. We're at that stage. So now we have to buy our product. Um, this is where your budget can be low, medium, or super high. And really, buying the product is um, what's gonna determine where you, f what, you know, one, you're gonna be limited to the products you can buy if your budget is low. Um, you're not gonna be limited to the options if you have a high budget or a good solid chunk of cash to invest in, in product, okay? So, but let's go for the low ones. Now, before I before I explain the cost, let me let me explain this. I am speaking specifically of private labeling with Amazon. Um, I consult for private labeling. I help people uh, as a coach or a mentor. Uh, I parent them, I take them, I hold their hand and I walk them through, I video everything and I give them private links to everything we do so they can, pe my clients can con constantly watch what we do um, and and then they, they get a better grasp and so what I'm doing is I'm eliminating that, that the most common reason why people fail is because they don't know what they're doing. I take your hand, I walk you through A to Z, you have any questions, just reach out to me and boom I answer your question and then we move forward you just have to make decisions so you're almost the boss you are the boss you just make decisions yes I like that one let's go with it boom we're moving next next step so that being said we're in the private label business so when you're buying products you have to be able to get your factory that you're sourcing from um, in the Alibaba stage so we're now sourcing from China you have to get your factory to private label your products for most factories they have a MOQ or a minimum order qua um, quantity that they require before they'll they'll even think about private labeling your products. Uh, most of them are roughly around the 500 mark, 500 units. Um, I've seen some that will do it for less. Certain products, maybe a couple hundred, and they'll they'll stamp your brand on there. They'll charge you a fee, a nominal fee. Um, I've seen some hired a thousand. I've seen some ask for a couple thousand units before they will private label. Um, so it depends. It depends on that product research. But just understand that if they can't private label it, you will not don't buy it. That being said, there there's exceptions to the, to to every rule. Um, but let's stick with that rule for now. So on a low, um, let's say that you're doing product research and you find a great product and it's about the $3 per unit. Uh, and it looks like it's gonna be a profitable product. You're gonna make $10 a unit off it. It's gonna sell for 20 bucks um, and you can get them for three. Um, and um, let's say that um, you can only afford a couple hundred to start off. So your budget is $600, okay? So for $600 US, you can go buy a couple hundred units and let's say that they will private label it for you. And let's say the, the private label fee, uh, they're gonna charge you a, is $100. So 50 cents a unit. Okay, so um, <clears throat> we want to add $600 to our cost so far. So we were at 260 plus 600 is 860 to buy our product. So now our product is purchased. And yes, we want the private label, so we gotta add the fee of private labeling. Let's say it was $100 at 50 cents a unit. Um, and, and the cost might not even be that high. Honestly, it may be a lot less. Um, so we add $100 to that, so we're at 860 plus 100, so $960. Okay, so now we got our product and we've private labeled it. Next step um, that we have to think about um, is we need the factory to to add our our, our MSQ uh, to the product. It's a sticker that it's an Amazon sticker. Amazon charges twenty cents a unit in China. They charge ten cents a unit. So we're going to ask 
the folks in China, the good folks in China to do it in the factory that you chose. Uh, so 10 cents a unit for 200 units, that's $20, okay? Um, so we were at $960 plus $20 to get that MSQ sticker on every package. Uh, so we are now at $980, okay? So now we're moving forward. We have our product, it's ready to ship. Oh, we got one more fee, shipping and handling. Shipping and handling is a fee and you're gonna definitely need to know about shipping and handling. The bigger the unit, the bigger the box, the more it's gonna cost. Um, you're buying 200 units, the more you can fit in a massive box, let's say you can fit all 200 units in one box, well, they only have to ship one box. The cost of shipping is gonna be a lot lower. I've seen the cost of shipping for a one box shipment be as low as like 195 bucks. Um, but if it's a big product and they can only fit like 20 units, well, they're gonna have to ship 10 boxes. You may be up in around the thousand dollars to ship that product. So that's something you gotta pay attention to um, and certainly sort through uh, and, and find obviously a shipping, a product that is small enough and, and all fits in within your budget, especially if you're entering in the low category. So let's say that it's all can fit in one box and it's 200 bucks. So that literally is a dollar a unit to ship my product from China to wherever you are, straight to Amazon. It's not even gonna touch base at you. So now we have a product, it's ready to ship. We were at $980 and we are now have to pay a dollar a unit for shipping. So we have to pay $200, so we're now at $1,180. So we're at $1,180, but our product is shipped. Now it's on its way to Amazon. We're almost home free now. So now we have to create our listing, which actually is a stage kind of earlier because you have to make sure you can create a listing. You have to make sure you can actually sell the particular product that you want to sell. Uh, those are all factors before you buy it. So make sure you're not just going gung-ho and, and, and buying stuff before you actually figure out if this is something you can sell. That's a very, very important stage. So creating a listing is a step before we actually move towards the payment of the product. Uh, we create a listing. Part of creating a listing is two costs, um, pictures or photos, and, um, and or actually it's three costs. Uh, photos, um, your logo, your logo for your product that you're gonna send to the actual manufacturer uh, and a barcode, okay? Two of those, pro we're gonna outsource, actually, we're gonna, we're gonna look out, so outsource two of those functions. So our logo, um, I'm not an expert at making logos, uh, but I certainly want something awesome. So whatever my product may be, I gotta come up with some sort of brand name for it. And then I gotta come up with some sort of logo. And, and I usually let, leave that up to the designer to come up with a logo design. Um, so uh, when I talk about logo, I, I usually recommend people go to Fiverr and just search logo, logos, a des, logo designer. And you'll get a list uh, of 100 people who design logos. And it starts anywhere, it could be five bucks for a logo, could be 10 bucks for a logo, 15 bucks for three logos, 25 bucks for five logos. Um, pretty relatively cheap. You can probably get one for five to six bucks, a single logo. If you're not really worried about what the logo is and you just want to get the logo going for your product. Now, sorry it's gotten dark. I'm kind of just driving into my underground parking here. Um, I'll turn on the light here. So um, we're going to add in, let's say we're going to, the cost for the logo is $10. So we were at $1,180, we now bought our logo, $1,190. Um, now we need photos, images for our listing. This is a huge thing because the number one thing that people look at when they're searching products on Amazon is the picture first. And if the picture doesn't grab their attention, they won't even look at the rest of the stuff. Then once that picture grabs their attention, then they're gonna click through. Um, that is where you need to spend some money uh, again, I recommend Fiverr.com. You go over to Fiverr.com, you get yourself a um, uh, somebody that will design your product photos. Now, there's two ways you can do it. You can have him design based on your recommendations and exactly what you want, or you can find out who's your best competition, take a look at their photos, send your designer the link and tell your designer, I want my photos to be better than that guy's photos. Now he's got a goal. 
He, if he can say yes or no, I can do it or I can't do it. Then if he can't do it, you go look for somebody else. If he can do it, then that may be your man. But you don't steal images from other people. What you do is you ask your manufacturer to send you all the photos they have. Make sure those photos are, are, aren't, aren't trademarked. That's something you may need to ask your manufacturer. Or take your own photos of your product or have someone do the photos for you, actually take the photos of a white, on a white background for you of your product. There's lots of ways to do it. I ask the manufacturer, the manufacturer then sends me a bunch of free images. I then take all those free images and I send it to the person I hired from Fiverr. Now, the charges will range anywhere from, you know, like I usually say buy about three to five photos. Uh, if you buy three, it could cost you forty, fifty dollars. If you buy five, it could cost you seventy-five dollars. If you buy more, it could cost you a hundred. And again, it all depends on the quality of the person. So let's just say we'll meet in the middle at seventy-five dollars for the photos. You want to get great photos. That's the really most important thing. And there's tricks and tactics to getting the great, the greatest photos uh, for your imaging. And that's again goes back to researching uh, on how to do that, uh, how it all works. The photos for Amazon listings. Uh, so you're at seventy five dollars. So we were at eleven $1 hundred and was it ninety dollars? Um, let's just say we're at twelve hundred. So twelve hundred plus seventy five. So we're at twelve seventy five. Um, now last that last but not least is and kind of again goes back to an early stage of creating your listing. When you create a listing, you need to buy a barcode. You need to buy a specific barcode. It's called a a, a G. I'm gonna mess this up, but a GN1 or, or a GS1, a GS1 barcode, a uh, GS1 UPC barcode, that is important. Uh, GS1 is a reg unregistered barcode. It's actually, once you buy it, you own it. No one else will ever have it. You can never get registered to another product. You'll get a certification, an actual certification of the barcode from the person that you buy it from. You didn't take that barcode and you forward that to, actually, you, you actually add that into your listing. You don't forward it to anybody. You add that into your listing. Then when you print out your MSQs, uh, that will all be incorporated into there and that's the sticker that you'll send off but you need to make sure you buy that barcode again guys I'll put all the links for the stuff I'm talking about in the description below if any of that stuff uh, is something you are like whoa I needed that D click the link it'll take you straight to there most of them are deals um, whether it's Jungle Scout uh, extension uh, I'll even put the, the link to Alibaba account um, I'll put the link to the to I use it's called the um, cheap dash barcodes, something like that. Anyway, I'll put the link in the description below. Um, so now with that, that, that cost there, uh, I recommend buying 10 because I doubt you're going to only launch one product. You're probably going to launch a bunch. If you want to just buy one, it's about five bucks each. But if you buy 10, I believe it's like 10.99 for 10 of them or 11.99 for 10 of them. So like two bucks each. Um, and then you can use the ones you want to use and you don't have to use any other ones. So you, and you have them, you don't have to ever go back to the site and get more. Um, so now we're, at, let's say it's 12 bucks to our total. So we're at 12.75 plus 12 bucks. So let's just say a grand total of $1,300. Uh, that's it. That's it to get going in an Amazon business. Now, the levels I talked about in the beginning are really based on how much you want to invest in the product. Okay, you can spend an extra couple thousand dollars and move uh, and expand your product options. Okay, you can also expand the quantity that you buy up front instead of buying 200. Maybe you can afford to buy 500. Then you're able to get the people who will said no to you are now an option. Who said no to private labeling are now an option. Uh, if if you go high level all in, you can buy. You can up your Jungle Scout membership you can buy the whole year in advance get two months free uh that costs 500 bucks um you can invest you know four thousand dollars in product buy that you know four or five thousand buy like i when i first started i jumped all in both feet i bought um a thousand units at three bucks a unit so that's three thousand dollars in product alone plus shipping handling plus all the other stuff i was in it for fifty five hundred dollars okay so that was my investment Again, doesn't have to be yours, but that might be um, somewhere you want to go. Thanks, guys, for watching. I appreciate it. Boom!